I've been getting a lot of questions about getting started on Vault Hunters and how I get the performance that I have on stream with this mod pack. Now I love to help, so let's go through the setup from beginning to end. This video is broken up into chapters that you can click on if you only want to see one specific thing. Check the description out to see where they are and jump to what you want to know. This, unfortunately, is a Java only mod pack, so it can't be installed on game consoles or any other version of Bedrock. Sorry about that. First off, let's talk about installing the mod pack. I run it on my computer, so that's the process we're going to cover here. You can join a hosted server, but uh, that's another episode. First, go to CurseForge and download the pack from the link in the description. If you really want to type out the URL yourself, here it is. Enjoy the pain. Download the pack by clicking the file tab here and then clicking the name of the main file. You'll then see a download file button like this. Click that and save it somewhere where you'll remember. Next, grab a program called MultiMC from MultiMC.org. This is what I use to run all my Minecraft worlds and mod packs. Once you've installed MultiMC, create a new instance by clicking the Add Instance button at the top here. Once you've done that, click Import from Zip and browse to where you save the mod pack from CurseForge. After doing that, click OK. MultiMC will then go through and download all the mods required in order to run your instance locally. This may take a bit. One eternity later. Once it finishes, it should look like this. Right click on the flame and choose Edit Instance. You're going to want to go into Settings, click Memory, and change this to 8196 for both minimum and maximum. Once you're done with that, click Launch. Vault Hunters needs at least eight gigabytes of memory to run. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. This is the only configuration option you have to change. You'll see this screen for probably a couple of minutes. It's initializing about 100 mods, so it takes a little while. As long as you see the numbers in the upper part of the screen moving, you're OK. And even if they freeze, you're still OK. Give it about five minutes, particularly when it says freezing data in the bottom left. And now here we go. So let's create your first single player world. Click on single player, name the world, something appropriate. Ah, perfect. And now create new world. You'll see a message just like this one about experimental settings. This is fine. Click proceed. When the world starts up, you'll see this message talking about what difficulty and crystal cost you want. Since you're here looking at a tutorial, I recommend you stick with standard. If you really enjoy pain, that's up to you. Click confirm. Immediately, one thing I recommend is don't play in windowed mode. If you notice here, I'm getting about 28 frames per second. Once I switch to full screen mode, you'll notice my frames per second goes up considerably. Now that you've spawned in, in the upper right, you will see five unspent skill points. Let's talk about what is the good things to choose for your first world. I'm going to go over what I think are the most beneficial for the start of the game. Press H to open up the skill tree. If this doesn't work for you, sometimes this happens by default. You can fix this by going to Options, Controls, and then typing Skill right here. Just hit in here and reset it with H. Clicking on this tab will bring up our abilities. Clicking on this tab will bring up our talents. We're going to do a mix between the two because you can't get researchers until you get knowledge stars. And in order to do that, you need to go into the vault. What I recommend for your first five points are two points in Vein Miner right here. Vein Miner allows you to break multiple blocks. The first two points will allow you to break eight blocks at a time. Let's take those two. Next, I recommend going into Talents and choosing Twerker down here. Twerker is a massively overpowered talent early in the game. It allows you to instantly bone mill crops at no cost whatsoever. The next talent that I recommend is one point in speed. Time is always the enemy in the vaults, and anything that lets you go faster will be beneficial. This leaves you with one skill point left. This one is kind of optional, depending on your play style, but let's go over the three that I recommend. First off, Dash is a very good talent that allows you to do a quick jump in any direction that you're facing. It also takes the place of fireworks with an elytra and makes it so that you do not need them. Now you won't be using an elytra in the vaults because you want max armor, so it's not as helpful. Cleanse is something that is very helpful within the vaults itself. 
Cleanse will remove any negative status effect once every 10 seconds. Now remember that you can't heal in the vaults, and you will get poisoned, so this is very powerful. The final thing that I recommend for an initial point is haste. Haste will increase your attack speed and it will increase your mining. Both of these things are very beneficial in the vaults. But really, any of these are going to be up to you. Alternatively, you can also put one more point in Vein Miner for 16 blocks. This can be very beneficial and it's what I ended up doing. But in retrospect, I think I'd go with Cleanse instead. Now, if you noticed, we have two different skills in the bottom left hand side of the screen. You can select these by holding left alt and it will allow you to choose whatever is an active or a passive ability. You activate this ability by hitting G. We've just cleansed. Yay. Now, if you're sitting here going, oh my gosh, hugs, I don't know what to choose. This is so complicated. I just want to test it. Now you totally can and I'll show you how. Go ahead and go into creative mode or open to LAN and enable cheats and then run this command. You can copy this directly from the description of this video, so don't worry about it if it seems a little confusing. But what this basically is doing is it is allowing to give the player 64 skill orbs. Once you have these skill orbs, you can right click them and give yourself as many skill points as you want. Now, this will let you try out each skill and figure out what works best for your playstyle. Another quick tip for this mod pack is if you're in any inventory, including your own or a chest, if you middle click, it will automatically sort it for you. This is super handy in the vault when the chests can have items all over the place. It makes it much easier to see what's important. From here, the video I put out about how to get started in game covers the rest of your experience. I've linked it in the upper right hand corner, so check that out if you want more information. I hope this has been helpful. If you've enjoyed this, I stream Twitch on Tuesdays at 8pm. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, or tell a friend. I hope you have the most wonderful of days, and I'll see you soon.